So, uh, how are things at Team Ninja these days with uh, it Itagaki gone? I think, um, although that people were worried and there's concern with Itagaki-san's departure, I think that there's new excitement at Team Ninja. I think Hayashi-san brings a new, fresh sort of direction to uh, the team. I think um, we're really excited looking into the future and uh, Hopefully we'll uh, have many exciting things and surprises. And the future starts off with something from the past with Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the motivation for bringing it to PlayStation 3? Sigma was a brand that we obviously introduced for PS3 back then. And we wanted to continue that tradition for uh, Sigma 2. I think it's important for us to get that brand and franchise that brand on, on other consoles as well. Sigma 2 obviously, much like Sigma 1, is sort of the culmination, the, the souped up version of the Xbox title. And I think we want to give that and provide that to our fans that although they didn't receive that up front with the Xbox release, that they're guaranteed something special when they wait, wait for the PS3 Sigma version always. And as you can see, with so much more added content, new characters, so much and so forth, I think that's the tradition of Sigma. These days, would you say Team Ninja is a fully multi-platform team? or Because it used to be more Xbox, Xbox 360. I think we're striving to go towards that. I think that we definitely had a close relationship with Xbox in the past. I, I definitely share that Hayashi-san wants to broaden, broaden our relationships to uh, other consoles. You're also, of course, closing in on a relationship with Nintendo. Uh, yes, I believe You so. can't talk about that, though. No, no. <laughs> but we're very, we're very excited about whatever that might bring. Yeah, we all are very excited. <laughs> so, uh, what are you most happy about Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2? I think um, when we look at Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, it sort of shows us the, uh, how should I say this, it's the ultimate, it's the uh, closing the book on that chapter for this uh, title. And it really showcases sort of the full version of Ninja Gaiden, everything that everybody worked so hard over the years. And I think that Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 is sort of the culmination of that. And I think we're all proud when we see that. So I think that's basically what it says. What What's the status on the next Dead or Alive project? I have no comment on that. But but it's not a dead series, right? It, it might. So no 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 no. Right. Well, I think that's all we're gonna try out of him right now. But thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. Um, 
if it could happen, I mean, fight fans would love it. Obviously, I think there's four or five heavyweights in the world that people will love, you know, the Brock Lesnar's of this world as well. Uh, but Randy is such an icon. Um, I got, I've got to know him over the last few months as I've met him a few times. Um, such a well-balanced individual, a gentleman, and um, a, a tremendous, um, if you will, proponent of the sport, who has done very well, who's built businesses around the sport, helps the sport grow, very articulate.